Hey guys, so for today's video I have a list of products that I think are underrated on YouTube. I think that these products are amazing and they deserve so much more hype than they get and obviously we all know that on YouTube a lot of products get hyped up and when that happens a lot of releases like fall by the wayside and nobody notices them which sucks because a lot of the times those releases are actually pretty good. Um, all of these products are I think really good quality and they perform really well on my skin at least so I think they deserve more love and that's why I want to share them with all of you so that you can discover these amazing products and maybe go out and buy them if they're up your alley and the great thing is that these are all drugstore which was a coincidence by the way because I didn't notice it as I was pulling things out of my collection I just realized that they're all drugstore which is great for people like me who's very broke um, yeah, I always love affordable makeup over pricier items if I can help it. I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started. Okay, so I'll try to go through them all as quickly as I can because I have quite a few products. I'll mention the LA Girl Velvet Highlight Stick and I have mine in the shade Radiance. They're, you know, these typical like highlighting sticks. It's a cream product. I usually just like wrap my fingers in it like this and just like dab it onto the high points of my cheeks. And this color is really nice. It's like a champagne. It goes well with a lot of different looks and skin tones, I think. And yeah, it's LA Girl, so it's dirt cheap. And it's really good quality as well. And I find that this lasts pretty well on my face throughout the day. It's pigmented but it's not like overly pigmented and I don't think it's that like blinging and glowy or anything like that but it's just like a really nice natural glow so it is really nice for every day but you can build it up to be pretty like banging and pretty blinding if you want to they also have contour sticks and blush sticks I think but I've only ever tried this highlight stick and I really really like it. Next is the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer. I actually first tried this because Zoella from YouTube obviously, um, she was recommending this like a few years ago so I tried this. I haven't heard anybody else talk about this besides Zoella and this is really really nice. I'm like completely out of this, I have to scrape at the sides to use this. It's not like a completely 100% full coverage or anything. It's more of like a medium coverage concealer. It's really nice for like every day so it doesn't look too overdone or anything. It looks very natural and it has like a dewy finish. It actually has glitter in the product which I know doesn't sound very appealing but when it's on your skin it actually looks pretty nice and it just makes your skin look like dewy and naturally pretty you know. Honestly I actually bought this exact one like two years ago and I'm still using it until now which is probably not what you're supposed to do but I don't really care and I'm almost out of it anyway so yep I definitely recommend next I got the silky girl funky eyelights pencil oh my god these eyeliners are amazing so they're metallic eyeliners I would say and they're more of like a creamy gel kind of formula this is in the shade jazzy bronze so it's more like a brown bronze shade which is so nice to just smoke out on the upper lash line. They also have a few other like fun colors like purple, I know they have silver, they have like a rose gold which is really nice as well but this is the only one that I own and I absolutely love it and Silky Girl is easily um, available at you know pharmacies, Watson's, Guardian, whatever and it's so affordable as well. It's really really pigmented, it's really really creamy it does not tug on my eyes at all and it also like blends out really easily if you want to smudge it out but once it's set it will not move at all all day long like seriously this lasts all day long on my eyes which is absolutely amazing and I love this stuff so much I also got the elf matte lip color and this is kind of like a lip crayon so this is what it looks like it's quite thin so you can get really precise around your mouth and the reason why I love this matte lip color is it is so pigmented it is super super comfortable it's really matte on your lips but it is a really comfortable matte which I love because I do love the look of a matte lipstick but I do not like the uncomfortableness of it being dry on your lips. It looks completely matte but it feels creamy on your lips and I only own one which is in the shade Praline 
but I have actually one coming in the mail right now which is kind of like a really bright red orange color which I'm so excited to own and this is only like three dollars I think which is so affordable, it's e.l.f. I mean, you know e.l.f. is affordable, so. Another e.l.f. product that I have is their cream eyeliner. Oh my god. I have never heard anybody talk about this on YouTube and it is freaking amazing. So, I actually don't use this as eyeliner. I use this for my brows, kind of like a brow pomade. Oh my goodness, it is so good. And it's so affordable, again, it's e.l.f. I think this is $3 as well, which is ridiculous. Because, you know, it's a lot of product in here. You're never gonna go through this. I've actually owned this for like a really long time. I would say almost two years maybe. And it is still creamy. It is still pigmented. I don't have to like wet it or anything before I use it. Which is insane because I've owned this for two years. It makes a really good brow. I'm wearing it in my brows right now. It's super pigmented. So if you're not a fan of like strong, bold brows, then maybe stay away from this. But... If you do like bold brows like I do, then definitely give this a try. It's really easy to work with and it blends really well um, on your brows or, you know, on your eyes too if you want to use it there. And the best part is that it lasts all day long on my skin. Like, it will not budge at all. I have used this as eyeliner before, obviously, and it's good that way, but I do prefer it on my brows instead of my eyes. And this is the shade Coffee, by the way. Another brow product that I have that I've actually mentioned before in previous videos is the ColourPop Precision Brow Pencil. And this is their older brow pencil, not the new release. This is just such a good brow pencil. I don't know why more people don't talk about this, it's so good. So it's your typical double-ended brow pencil with the spoolie on one end and the product on the other end. And so you twist it up. But one issue that I have with this, it's not really an issue, but one thing to note is that you can't twist the product back down. So be careful with how much you twist up. But what I love about this is that it is extremely pigmented. Again, if you don't like bold brows, then you probably won't like this. But I do like bold brows. So it is very, very pigmented and it's very, very creamy. I don't really like brow pencils that are waxy, kind of like the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. Um, it's more waxy than creamy. I prefer creamier brow pencils like this one because I just find that it works better on my brows because I have very thick, full eyebrows. It blends in really well with my brow hairs as well, which I really enjoy. Amazing product, love it. Coming on to my last couple products, this is the NYX No Filter finishing powder. This is like a really great setting powder for your face. I have mine in the shade medium olive. It is very fine. I feel like it's not stiff at all. It's quite buttery and smooth. And the thing that I really like about this is that it doesn't make your face look like matte and dead, you know. It actually kind of has not a glow but it's not like a flat matte powder which I really like about it. It kind of has the slightest, slightest bit of a sheen to it. So it is really nice to set foundation with. It actually adds some glow and some dimension to your face, which I really like. But one thing that I will say about this is that it doesn't mattify your face like at all. After like even an hour or two, I will already notice my face will be a wee bit shiny. So if you have oily skin, I would maybe not recommend this. If you have like normal to dry skin, then definitely give this a try. And the final product that I have to mention is the L'Oreal Lucent Magic Cushion Glow Blush. I have mine in the shade Sunkissed Coral. So it is a cushion blush. It comes with its little sponge thing. So this is what the product looks like. Yes, it does look very scary and very pigmented, but once it's on your face, it blends out really nicely and it's really not all that pigmented which is a good thing I think when it comes to cream and liquid blushes that you don't want it to be too pigmented so you can still control the way that it looks on your face. I also really like to use the sponge. I know a lot of people don't really use these things but I think it does a good job. Like it was made to go with this cushion blush and yeah I think it just looks so natural on your face. It really is very dewy. It's not at all shimmery or anything, it's just dewy. So if you want that kind of Korean beauty style where it's like super dewy skin, this will definitely go really well because it is just like a really pretty dewy blush. 
and yeah, I really like it. So that's it for all of the products that I think are underrated on YouTube. I hope you check these products out if you're interested in any of them. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you thought in the comments. And like and subscribe and all that jazz. You know what to do. Bye.